going on, Falcon fan? This your boy Ricundo come back at you with another video. So today we're going to talk about why we should be excited about the Atlanta Falcon offense in 2022. So guys, before we get into that video, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Please hit that notification bell so you know when I drop another video. Please hit the like button so I know you guys like to hear what I talk about. Then please share my video throughout the YouTube universe so more people can come in and hear me talk about these Atlanta Falcons. So guys, like I said, we're going to talk about the offense in 2022. But we're going to go back and just look at how the offense fared last year in 2021, which was not that good. All right. Um, just go look at some of the numbers. We was in the bottom of the lead rank last year. Um, passing was actually in the middle of the pack. We was 16th in the lead, um, 218 yards a game. Um, scoring, we was 26. 18.4 points a game is just not going to do it. We have to score more than 18 points. Um, we averaged 85.4 yards rushing. That was 31st in the lead. Um, overall yards in the game. We was 29th with 303 yards. On first down, we was 20th in the lead. Third down, we was 19th in the lead. So those are the numbers from last year. Um, just to look at our offense. It was not a good offense. And a lot of people saying, how in the world did the Falcons win seven games last year with that offense? Um, look at the numbers. Like I said, they were not that, they were not that great. Uh, then you go go and look at some of the defensive numbers. How did we win seven games? So um, we can only see see the um, things getting better from year one to year two. Of Arthur Smith. We definitely thought that Arthur Smith coming in, what he was able to do in Tennessee, um, being the top five both seasons as offensive coordinator um, on the offensive side. Um, we thought we was going to be able to translate that. However, of course, the rosters um, was not nearly the, nearly the same um from the Tennessee Titans to the Atlanta Falcons last year. Um I think Matt Ryan had his worst supporting cat cast in his um whole career last year. Um, he was still able to put up thirty nine hundred yards, twenty touchdowns, twelve interceptions. Um but at at the end of the day the the, the supporting cast around the you know, quarterback was not that good. Offensive line um, was definitely not where it should have been last year. So, I mean, um, those why the numbers show what the what they are from last year. So the question is, why should we actually be excited um, about the about the offense this year? So first of all, let's look at two things that Arthur Smith was able to do um, with the offense last year, and that's why I got um, Kyle Pitts and um, CP here on the screen because what he was able to do with both of those guys last year um, contributed to some of the wins that we had. If you just go look at how he actually identified the mismatches um, with Kyle Pitts, I'm just go back just a couple of games uh, just, just right on the top of my head, um, the Miami Dolphin game, he actually put Kyle Pitts out um, wide. Um, you go back the first time, they tried to put a safety on him. Um, he smoked him um, down the sideline. And in the game, the game winning drive that Matt Ryan had, um, they put Kyle Pitts out on the right side. And this time, the Miami Dolphins tried to counter with a corner this time. They know a safety couldn't, couldn't check him. So this time, they actually put a corner on him. And guess what? Kyle Pitts smoked him as well. Um, that would, they put their best corner on Kyle Pitts that time. So being able to identify those mismatches, they wanted to play man-to-man -man instead of putting somebody on top. That last play, they did kind of have somebody in, but that pass and, and the play that Kyle Pitts, that route that Kyle Pitts ran was just perfect um, right down the sideline. The same thing could sit, be said about Cardell Patterson. Um, go back to the Saints game. They, the, the Saints was in their base package. It moved Clark CP out to the outside, forced the linebacker to actually go out and cover him, and um, and he could not check Carter Patterson outside. Matt Ryan hit him on the sideline. Once again, game winning drive, field goal by Young Wake Koo. So being able to utilize those those two players, um, that he was able to utilize last year. 
to get them in advantageous um, spots on the field to take advantage of the defense and how that they was trying to play defense against us. Everybody knew that Kyle Pitts and Cardell Patterson was the offense last year once Kevin Ridley um, was not there anymore after five games. So um, the way he utilized both of those players um, definitely contributed to some of the wins that we had last year. Um, you can see Cardell Patterson start to wear down towards the end of the year because um, I think that's probably the most he had been used in his career. Um, so uh, we can see how he started to wear down. Of course, we, we were supposed to do running back by committee. Mike Davis came in. He had um, 138 carries for 503 yards, um, which was not what we expected from him. Um, actually, CP had actually more carries, 153 um, carries for 618 yards. Also had um, 548 receiving yards. So, um, like I said, between Kyle Pitts and Cordell Patterson, that was the Atlanta Falcons offense last year. And which brings me to the reason why I believe we're going to actually be better this year. Because just the mere fact, the weapons that we have, we have more weapons. Um at the disposal, Arthur Smith um, will be able to utilize the number eight overall pick, Drake London. We can put him inside and outside. Um, go back to his his um, it's it's not last year, the year before last, where he was he he ran a lot of plays in the slot, where he was actually able to win win hit win in those spots. So he know how to run routes inside and outside. We'll be able to utilize Brian Edwards, another big body receiver um, who's still young. I think that can definitely um, has a lot of potential left in him. We'll be able to utilize the mere bird burner. Hopefully we'll be able to um, keep um, utilizing a long days of kids. Um, the biggest thing is our running game, hopefully going to be better. Um, it's all going to depend on offensive line, of course, but with Tyler Algier back there, bringing in Damian Williams, um, taking some low off Cardell Patterson for he can be fresh for the whole season, um, not letting teams um, being able to double team Kyle Pitts so much because of the the the, um, the more weapons that we put out there along with him, um, it's just going to be tremendous this year. We're not going to forget about Anthony Fresker, the other tight end that we brought in, um, so. Um, that's the reason why I think that this offense is going to be good and why we as a um, fan base should be ha have something to get excited about. Um, we do need to worry about the execution, how we, how these guys are going to be execute, and then we got to worry about the quarterback. Um, we don't have Matt Ryan this year, a proven quarterback, proven commodity, somebody we know that be able to deliver the ball to the to the uh, spots that need to be delivered um we have two unknowns of course we got desmond a rookie who has never played in the nfl we got marcus mariota who's have show flashes in the past but of course you know he has haven't started in two years so um we definitely gonna see if we did that those two years are not playing actually help him calm down uh, he mentioned a lot that he he feel like he's going to play more free this year i think that's going to bode well for him because that's the way he looked when he when he played in oregon he played free he played like uh, he was just out there having fun playing football if he can get back to that um when he won the Heisman trophy that would be great for us for marcus mario to, to get to to that position we'll be able to utilize the quarterbacks in the run game as well which i good reason another reason i think that we can be successful in this offense but just just looking at the roster we had last year from an offensive standpoint and i'm talking about the skill positions right now of course we all know the offensive line is is gonna have to be the key for us to have us to be able to do anything well on offense but if the offense can line can get it together of course they brought competition in across the board um these skill players um along with the the mind arthur smith and Dave Ragon, how they're going to scheme these guys up they identify those like i said those advantageous um spots where all these players on this team not just 
Kyle Pitts and Cordell Patterson this year, but we can utilize all the other weapons as well. So, guys, that's the reason why I think that we definitely have something to look forward to from this offense this year. I hope we have a complete team, um, but we definitely got to be able to score more than 18.4 points a game. And the last thing, we got to be able to control the time position. Time position last year, we was 29th in the league as well. So we was not able to hold on to the rock. So we know Arthur Smith wanted to run the ball. We know he wanted to control the clock. Um, a lot of things that we just did not, we was not able to see last year because of the personnel that he had. So let's get on board and see what these guys are going to be able to do. All these weapons, finding those advantageous um, um, spots where all these players, offensive line growth, and then good quarterback play. So, guys, that's all I have. Let me know what you think about this offense this year. Do you think it's going to be better? If so, how much better do you think? And this is your boy, Ricundo. Come back at you with another video. Peace.